Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the Mad Cheese, as always. Got another breakdown video, another defensive uh, money play video for you today. Today, I'm going to be going over a defense that I've put out several times uh, throughout the year so far um, with many different variations, all in gameplay. I'm putting it out in a practice video today because in those videos, I had a lot of confusion as far as what I was doing, the setups, how to run it, stuff like that. I try to put it out in gameplay so you guys can see how well it works against actual live opponents, but sometimes it's best just to take it to practice mode so I can control the environment and really show you guys um, all the little things that you can do with these type of with these type of plays. So that's what I'm going to do today. So you might have already seen this in some gameplays. If you didn't, I'll put links in the description below so you can see how well this works against live opponents because to me it's one of the best defenses in the game. Uh, in my opinion, it's, it's, it's almost the meta. I've had people call... A, a different defenses the meta but to me this is one of the best defenses to run i shut down the the run and the pass with this very easily um with this up so i'm going to show you today so uh the the last video i put out uh was maybe a week or two ago and people were asking in that video that they, they said i didn't even say the name of the play a lot of the stuff is really uh to me kind of obvious which is why i probably didn't go over it too much in those videos uh, it's any pretty much any play at a nickel normal nickel two four five uh, any formation that looks just like this which you should be able to find in just about every single playbook in the game. I'm using the Chiefs because uh, I put out an ebook from the Chiefs uh, and it's one of the better in my opinion one of the better nickel package defenses whether it's the big nickel which is one of the few uh, playbooks that has the big nickel anymore or like I said the regular nickel normals that are that come in the game. But ultimately like I said you can pick just about any cover two man from any formation in the game. It looks like this and it's going to work the exact same way which is why uh, I like I said I didn't go into it in too much depth it's not an actual money play it's a concept that you can find in just about any playbook in the game now as far as the adjustments go it's best to use a team that's like a 4-3 team because I'm gonna want linebackers that are not pass rushers I'm gonna want linebackers that are actually like high zone coverage linebackers like in my mutt team I have uh, Derek um, Derek Brooks, which is like, he's like an insane, like 88 or 89 overall zone. He's perfect for a scheme like this. Now, I didn't actually prep this. I didn't see uh, who has high zones, but just go into your depth chart. That's going to be what you're going to want to focus on. That and probably speed, uh, which is going to be typical. So I'm going to go to my linebackers. We're just going to find out who has the highest zones out of anybody on my defense. So if you go over to, because uh, that's going to be one of the most important things when it comes to covering uh, these uh, these routes. Uh, so outside linebackers, uh, Willie Gay was one of them. And the other one was Neiman. Willie Gay is actually pretty fast, too. Um, I don't even see. Maybe he's a starter. I guess he is. Yeah, Ben Neiman here. So even though he's one of my best coverage guys, I'm typically going to replace these guys with uh, with safeties anyway. Safeties for speed a lot of times. So, you know, whoever's my best man coverage safety, I would say, you'd want to put at these uh, linebacker spots. If you have uh, the ability to do multiple, you can do multiple. Uh, if it's against the run, if your opponent's running quite a bit, a lot of times I'll just have one safety on one side and a user linebacker on the other side. If it's, like I said, if it's somebody, if I'm afraid of somebody running or if I'm concerned with somebody running. Uh, but if they're mostly passing, you can just put safeties at both these spots. I have, like, once again, my mud team, I have a really high man coverage safety in Tyron Matthew. I put him at one of these spots. He takes away because crossers, drags, stuff like that can still give us a little bit of issues. So we'll go and we'll do that. We'll find a home for him right here in the middle. I'm not really going to run uh, too much of this against the actual computer because, like I said, that's what the gameplay was for. So I'm just kind of showing you guys the finer things. So that, that's pretty much going to be my setup. Like I said, I typically give myself whatever the best user middle linebacker is, I'm usually going to keep it here. A really high man safety, which is Tyron Matthew here, and then really good zone or whatever the best zone linebackers I have. Because if you keep defensive ends at these spots, they're gonna they're not really gonna do too good. Defensive ends like Frank Clark, he's not gonna drop back really well into the, the area he needs to. And then it also frees him up to put him inside pass rushing because these are gonna be the only two pass rushers. So now I have Chris Jones, a really high pass rush, and a Frank Clark, which has a really high pass rush. So like I said, if you want to see how well this works in actual gameplay. Links will be in the description below. I've used this defense pretty much nonstop for the last couple of, you know, maybe last month or so. Uh, it's my favorite defense to run. Um, so I'll put plenty of links in the description and gameplay for that. So as far as the setup goes, 
Um, the most important things are going to be uh, hitting the D-pad to the left twice. Now that was something that, like I said, I didn't mention in the gameplay. I think a lot of people, a lot of people still do it like the old-fashioned way, where they try to go across to these to these particular players and manually set them up in vertical hooks, which is fine. But given that a lot of people online won't give you an opportunity to go through your lineup that way, a lot of people still do it the old-fashioned way, where they cycle through the entire thing just by hitting B. They don't even realize that they can hold the B button and then directionally do it. But still, to set it up as fast as possible, hit D-pad to the left twice, gives you the icon, so then I'm going to hit X, put him on a vertical hook, and then boom, we got our both sides in vertical hooks. That's something that a lot of people, I think, probably struggle with. Uh, one of the next things is going to be um, putting this, uh, if it's uh, for the run alignment, if I have a formation that looks like this, like I have a gun formation, pretty much the only run play that it could be would be an inside zone. So to be better against stopping the run, shifting my defensive line in that direction so that basically he's running into three defensive linemen on that spot is going to be a good way to go you could also just pinch the entire defense a lot of times i do that uh, especially if they're like in a single back look i'll just hit the rb button and then down on the left stick to pinch the entire defense but that's really if there's more of an opportunity it just runs the ball here that's really if there's more of an opportunity against different things as you can see we get a sack and we get a coverage sack i didn't even really mean for the ball to be hiked so we're going to do that again like i said here if you want to set up uh, I typically will shift my defense in the direction of, um, you know, the possible inside zone pretty much every time. And then, once again, like I said, D-pad to the left twice, drop these guys in the hooks. The last thing that I'm going to do uh, is a lot of times I'll QB contain, especially if I have a quarterback like this. Uh, that's mobile because one of the the passing lanes aren't really going to be there this defense will take away most passing lanes but a lot of times your opponent will either slide in the pocket and try to uh, either hold the ball uh, till till they get receivers coming back to the ball which a lot of times will, will do pretty good against this defense you got to watch for that when it comes to using the middle um, but putting these guys uh, into um, a QB container a lot of times will help uh, as far as uh, when they try to move out of the pocket, it'll help them to get pressure. Uh, sometimes the QB contain, if you have them in a certain spot, like pinching like this, a lot of times it'll put both into it. Uh, if you if you slide the, pr the, the protection one way or the other, a lot of times it'll only put one. So you kind of have to mess with that to get them both in a QB contain. Uh, but that's not ultimately the, the end of the world. And then the last step will be putting myself on a blitz. And the reason I'm doing that is because of the change of direction penalty. It's a trick where basically my defensive player will have a freer range of motion based off of the fact that he's on a blitz which is something that a lot of people know also so i'll be able to move faster with this guy on a blitz i don't actually have to blitz but it's just going to help so like i said i'm really trying to take away deep middle you can see right there crossers drags that's still going to give this a slight issue but it's not going to be enough that's going to be consistent it's not something that you're going to really uh, run into a lot of issues with now another adjustment you can make uh, when it comes to this defense um, is going to be um, putting these uh, these guys into curl flats, putting them into uh, hard flats. Uh, that's really all specific off of what your opponent does. So if your opponent hits you with a flat a couple times, or like right there, let opponent hit me with a drag, I can take away that drag the next time just by putting one of these guys on a hard flat. Um, I can put them both on a hard flat if I really want to. I can put them both on curl flats if I really want to. I just find that the best way to go and what leaves me open the most to free range is going to be dropping these guys back into vert hooks, which is something that I typically find is really one of the better ways to go. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more defensive videos, more blitz videos out of this package, uh, do me a favor, hit the like button and let me know in the comments section. Other than that, thanks for watching that much shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.